They did not come to develop Kenya. They came to colonize and to be exploit. So what they did, the first thing there was, uh, they started by building a railway line. Here railway later, Kenya, Uganda railway. Ilijenga kutoka Mombasa, ikafika Kisumu. Kwa sababu kwa nilipapika Kisumu, ikuwa tiyari mechapika Uganda. Kisumu was the eastern, the capital of the eastern province of Uganda. Uganda ikuwa nakuja mpaka nakuru. Mpaka hiyo. This was called the East African Territory, and it was just for them here to come and do hunting for uh, elephant tusks na kadharika. It was 1904 that they formalized the, the, the colony. Sasa kukawa na governor ambana it was Sir Charles Elliot. Then, mbebiru moja alikuja katoka uko ulaya, alikuwa na itwa Hugh Cholmondley. Padaka itwa bwana uh, uh, Lord Delamere. He came on a horseback through Somalia, akapita pali mlima Kenya, akawana mlima Kenya, akapada kangia pali Laikipia, akiteremuka, akaenda pali ina itwa Thompson Falls, nyahururu. Akaingia bondi la ufa. Akapita pale Nakuru, Njoro, Molo, paka kule eh, eh, Eldoret. Akaenda mpaka mlima Elgon. Akaona winchi ambani mzuri sana ina rotuba mingi sana. Akarudi hapo kwa mkutano na bwana governor. Sasa mkutano hiyo na governor... Uh, akamambia ati nyinyi mmejenga reli you built a railway really line all the way from Mombasa to Kisumu it's called, it was called in the house of commons the lunatic express a railway really line from nowhere to nowhere what you carry no, nobody knows so kasema igari igari itakuwa natoka Mombasa imebeba wapishahela mpaka kule Kisumu, mpaka Uganda, lakini kirudi, tukuna rudi tupu. Manake kulikuwa hakuna, hakuna mali na beba. Lakini mkianza kupanya farming, ukulima katika hii nchi hii, mbae kuna notuba kumingi za mna hii, hiyo really inaweza kufanya kazi. Mimi niko tiyari kuenda ulaya kuleta wakulima. Waji hapa wakulima. Garantini ya kwamba kila moja ni meleta atapewa ekari ya lufkumi. Bore. Pili atapewa wale watu wa kufanya wa kufanya kazi kwa shamba yake hiyo. Bile bile bore. Gawana kakubali. Wakandika mkota ba na mdelemea. Haenda letima wakulima. Hakaenda ulaya. Lipaenda kule ulaya. I could address town hall meetings. London, Manchester, Birmingham, Liverpool. And we have to cool Africa. We have got a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Canaan. Na kila mwote mbae ita kuja kuja atapewa ekari ya lufukumi bure na wafanyi kazi kufanya kazi kwa chamba yake. Kini wakati hiyo, story ya Afrika kule ulaya ilikuwa mbaya sana. Watu ilikuwa na gopa Afrika. Afrika, atiko kule, kuna umbu, kuna malaria, kuna bilhazia, kuna eh, nini, eh, ini, ini, nyoka nyoka, na wild natives. Kwa hivu watu wengi ilikuwa hawana haja. Wachache walikubali. Alipokuja hapa, akafatahika, akambiwa angalie huko kusini Afrika. Akachua, akachua meli hapa Mombasa. 
akateremuka mpaka Davan akakula vile vile akafanya mikutano Davan East London Port Elizabeth Cape Town Kimberley Johannesburg kuli akapata wazungu ambao walikuwa mchaishi bara ya Afrika vizazi ya nne ya tano wale ambao hawaogopi Afrika na wao wenyewe walikuwa wanafanya kazi kwa mashamba ya wazungu wenyao so this prospect of coming and getting their own farms was very appealing because the people who are working in the farms of their own people wakaja kutoka kule Afrika Kusini ni sababu wale wengi ambao walikuwa hapa kwa nini wakulima walikuwa ni makaburu kutoka kule Afrika Kusini wengi wao walikuwa ni ngumbaru walikuwa hawajui kwa kupandika walikuwa naweka kidole lakini hao ndio walikuwa ruthless kabisa za Afrika wakapewa mashamba sasa wakakata hiyo kutoka mlima Kenya kule mpaka hiyo pande hii ya 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 ya, 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 ya katikati hapa hii na Meru na Embu hapa kuingia bonde la Ufa mpaka kule pande ya Kitale sasa wale Masai walikuwa naishi kutoka kule slopes ya Mount Kenya hiyo yote na ekipe yote hiyo ilikuwa ni nchi ya Masai na hururu hapo hiyo nyandarwa yote na wakiona mpaka kila ngopizo zote alikuwa Masai akasukumwa kutoka kule wakapeleka chini huko Kajiado na Narok hapo naivasha waliweka corridor mile kumi ten mile corridor ya Masai kupita na shezi ngombe yao hapo wende huko chini sasa wakashika hii hiyo na kuanza kufanya hiyo ni hiyo farming yao sasa Afrika wanakwenda wanachotwa kufanya kazi. Wengine wametoa kwa mashamba yao. Wameweka kwa nini? Villages. Hapo vile vilikuwa. Hiyo ni kini ya shida ambayo tulikuwa naye. Sasa hii mambo ya ukombozi ilianza wakati ukoloni ilianza katika taifa letu. Kwa hivyo this ukoloni tuko na safu hii mapambano is in faces face one from the time they were kuja hapa 1896 mpaka 1945 hapo ndio faces hapo ndio kuta watu kama wayaki wahinga ambaye alichukuliwa akapeleka kule kibwezi akalazimishwa kushimba kaburi yake akaingizwa kule akaziko kama bado wako hai hapo baadaye nilikuja pata watu kama hai dhuku pale ambao waliooga organize maandamano pale karibu na chuo kikuu na watu wakapigwa pale watu wengi walipigwa risasi na wale wao wakati huo hapo nilikuta mekatili wa menza na wanaingia hapo hapo ndiyo unakuja kukuta wale ambao sasa walianza sasa hili mavyama kama Kikuyu Center Association uh, dini ya Msambwa uh, kwa Vilondo Taxpayers Association na kadhalika watu kama sasa ni hapo ni unakuta Samuel Koitalel hiyo ni gupio that that piece hapo ndio utakuta ukama okay, mwenye nyama nture na mora hapo hiyo ndio nakuta watu kama uh, ojijo teko kuna my great grandfather kuna aitwa agola awala ye hey, mzungu alikuwa anataka awe chief alikataa kuwa chief akasema siwezi kukuwa weka chief na huyu mtu ambaye ngozi yake ni ni ovyovi kwa sababu kutoheshimu mzungu akashikwa akapelekwa huko Kismayu akakufia huko mtoto yake ndiye alipelekwa kwenda kuona kaburi yake huko hapo ndio unakuta mndimbingu 
ambayo alikuwa amekataa mambo ya wazungu kuchukua ngombe ya wakamba hivi hivi na kuchinja chinja hivi hivi. Hao wote ni wote ambao hiyo ni pesa ya wakombozi. Ya pesa one. 1945 Afrika kwa mara ya kwanza wakaunda chama ya kitaifa Kenya African Union kau hiyo ndio kwanza nationalist movement ya struggle alafu sasa hiyo kila imeunganisha watu pamoja lakini walikuwa hawapewi nafasi ya kufanya mikutano sawa sawa sasa wakati hiyo vile vile mambo ya mashamba imekuwa ime mafarika amewekwa pale shamba michukuliwa na wazungu na Afrika nifanye kazi tuko mashamba hiyo nimeleta mambo ya kupigana kwa kwa kwa, 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 kwa mashamba chanzo cha mahamau ukasema mambo sasa yamekuwa ni mbaya kama ni mbaya ni bas hapa sasa kao iko hapa Sahili mali mzungu anatangaza hali hatari state of emergency be declared Sahili hiyo mama wiki mzituni na wale wanashikwa wale wa kapengori wa six kushtakiwa Sasa wakati hiyo iko eh, kafiu katika miji yote ya katika taifa letu Za wakati huo mama wanapelekwa kule wanaingia wanashtakiwa wewe kwa detention camps na makamps ziko hapa na pale kule Lamu kule Hola kule Manyani kule uh, uh, Lodwa kule Lokitang kule Ziwa ya Victoria kule kwa na detention camp Mageta Island wakati hali ya hatari ilikuwa mbaya zaidi Redi ile kuna tangaza kwa ni Kiswahili. Ati wakikuyu wa Meru na wa Embu ni watu hatari. Ukwenda mmoja akipita namna hii, pega report kwa polisi mara moja. Wakati hiyo vita hiyo iliendelea. Mzungu amleta kikosi ambaye anapigana na maumau. Pale ambao walikuwa wanapigana ilikuwa mbaya. Mlingia hapa unaona mvua inanyesha hiyo na baridi. Hiyo ndio vile mama walikuwa na hisi katika huko huko juu. Kule msitu ni huko uh, uh, upande ya Nyandarwa, huko Abadea hasa kila mahali. Walipigana ikifika mwaka 1955 56. Mzungu anataka kutangaza uhuru hapa. Ukani okay, Michael Blondel waliunda chama na iko inaitwa Kenya Freedom Party was formed and they wanted to go the route of South Africa to declare independence our route ya Zimbabwe ya Rhodesia in lateral declaration of independence lakini wakati hiyo nationalism ikaanza hapa vile vile watu wa Afrika wameanza ku wale ambao wako nje ku 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 kupigana ndio wakaleta reform kuna ito the Littleton reform ambayo imekubali wa Afrika kuchagua wabunge kwa mara ya kwanza 1957 the eight uh, first elected members of parliament sasa hiko safu hiyo wale walipoenda kwa bunge wakaenda kwa bunge na kaanza kupigania haki ya wa Afrika. Wakati yuko kama na lari masaka watu pigwa kule lari wakawawa. Kukawa na hola masaka. Pale ambayo wafungwa wa mao walipigwa wakawawa huko. Wakati hiyo we had 14 members of parliament or legic at that time. Jamogi alikuwa kiongozi mboya alikuwa uh, uh, katibu ukasema tupeleke msuado kwa bunge ili tuangalia hii mambo hali ya ya, ya wafungwa wa mao ambao wanaoa katika jela that motion was moved by tomboya 
And if you go into the Hansard, you will see the debate in the house that time. Waliongea ilopika wakati wa jaramogi akasema In the heart of hearts of the African people Jomo Kenyatta and all those who detained with him were and are the true leaders. And their continued detention offends the conscience